I'd like to call the 16th meeting of the 2014-2015 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mayor. Some change take time to happen. If you want something to happen, be prepared to make some effort. Next, would uh, please call the roll for the meeting? There are 14 present. Uh, Brian Bitters and David Van Akron, our aldermen are excused. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's an excuse. Ignore that comment about Brian Bitters being excused. <laughs> Any other comments? <laughs> Next, we'll move on to approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes from the last meeting? Seeing none, will the clerk rather just, uh, are you, please, uh, if you approve, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to resignation, city attorney. Yes, there's a letter to the mayor from Barbara Knauf advising that uh, she's tendering her resignation effective November 24th from the Sheboygan Housing Authority. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to uh, council appointments. City Attorney. Honorable members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Robert Rank to be considered for appointment to the Housing Authority to fill the unexpired term of Barbara Knauf, whose term expires 4-23-2018, signed by the mayor. That will lie over. And then we'll go on to confirmation of council appointments. City Attorney. Uh, these are <clears throat> brought in at the last meeting to the mayor's neighborhood leadership cabinet, Rosemarie Trester for the North Flats Neighborhood Association, appointed 11 3 14, ex term expires 4 30, 2015, <clears throat> and Ken Van Orden, also North Flats Neighborhood Association alternate for the same time period, signed by the mayor. Thank you. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. <clears throat> Those confirmations are before you. Is there any discussion? Would the clerk please call the roll? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to the public forum. Is there anyone registered today? Uh, no, there is not. Thank you. Then we'll go on to the mayor's announcements. <clears throat> I'd like to ask Steve Shire and Sarah Schweifel to step forward. Since 1985, the Sheboygan JCs have maintained a cross-country ski trail in JC Evergreen and Maywood Parks. During this time, they provided all the manpower to operate the equipment that's used to groom the ski trail with the development of the uh, Rotary's project, Making Spirits Bright, which, by the way, will be opening on Friday after Thanksgiving from 5 to 9 in, in Evergreen Park. The JCs needed to move the cross-country ski trail to new areas in the early part of the season uh, that, that were north of the Pigeon River until that Rotary project is finished in January. The current bridges are not wide enough to allow the grooming sled to pass and groom both sides of the river, so the JCs um, went to work raising funds to purchase a second snowmobile and grooming sled for this purpose. The Public Works Committee recommended that we accept this donation of equipment from the JCs. Uh, Steve Shire, who is representing the foundation, and Sarah Schweifel, the JC uh, club itself, they're here tonight to turn over keys so that the cross-country skiers can continue to have groomed trails uh, to use during the winter season. Thank you, Sarah. 
And uh, I guess I'd like to thank them for this investment in new equipment and the continued commitment to the JC uh, Cross Country Ski Trail. And now I'm gonna return the keys to Steve <laughs> so that he and his, uh, his crew of groomers can, can use that snowmobile now that we have some snow on the ground. I'd like to offer you an opportunity if you wanna make any additional remarks. I just wanted to thank the city of Sheboygan, especially the Parks Department for uh, having this kind of venue in the city of Sheboygan. It's not too many areas that have that kind of groom ski trails for their citizens. It offers an excellent opportunity in the winter time for citizens to stay in shape, get some exercise and enjoy the outdoors uh, right here in our backyard. So thank you very much. And I'd like to thank our skiers too that also donated uh, about $3,100 to the cause itself. So, Who were the other supporters for the, uh, the purchase? Basically the, uh, the skiers donated 3,100 and then we had the JC uh, Foundation and the uh, Friends of JC's kicking the balance. That's great, thanks so much. Thank you. Yep, that's <laughs> Um, some other announcements of uh, the city leaf collection will be ending on this Friday, but residents after that can still bring their leaves down to the drop off site if they need to get rid of those. I'd like the citizens to consider voting for an online um, for, for Sheboygan to receive a, a grant for a new concert series this summer. The details are on the city uh, website and uh, you can look at one of the banner ads there and follow that for directions on how to do that. Uh, there's an art gala that's going to be hosted by the Senior Activity Center on Wednesday, 11-19. It'll take place from 4 to 8 o'clock. We'll be serving gourmet soups and beverages as well as displaying a lot of arts uh, that the uh, citizen, Senior Citizens Activity Center members have been putting on display. And there will be no garbage pickup on Thanksgiving, 11-27. Um, the drop-off will be also be closed that day. But uh, Thursday's garbage will be picked up on Friday, and Friday's garbage will be picked up on Sunday. And we're going to reserve one last item on the mayor's announcements. Has he arrived? Okay. All right, we can go ahead then. Um, Doug, would you please come forward? Doug Walter has served the Shoreline Metro team for the past 32 years. Doug has started his work as a mechanic on the PM shift for the first 13 years, and Doug's attendance was always stellar with one of his supervisors stating that on the 32 years, he could only count the days that Doug missed worked on one hand. Doug was promoted to lead mechanic in 2011 and has served in that capacity since that time. Whether it's changing a tire or changing a bus motor, he always tackled the job to the best of his abilities. To learn more about Doug, I reached out to some bus drivers, and they tell me that he was dubbed the Golden Boy soon after his arrival at the then Sheboygan Transit. Is that true? Um, by some people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Doug presented a, a, a quality found, not found in many, but seldom so subtly used, humor. Humor and his dedication to quality workmanship have been delicately balanced as only Doug has been able to do for 32 years. An example of his humor was recalled by a driver who while, curb, who, while curbside to pick up a passenger, suddenly found his wheels spinning in the snow and his bus was stuck. After a sheepish call to maintenance, Doug arrived on the scene and would observe the situation and shake his head and in a stern voice asked, what did you do? As the driver stumbling over his words to explain, Doug's stern look turns to a smile and he asks the driver to get back in his bus and get ready to go. He grabs a shovel out of the service truck and begins to dig. After a few minutes with a sprinkling of some magic traction, sand, Doug would ask you to gently accelerate and watch you proceed. And as you look in the mirror, you would see Doug in the reflection with a wave and a bright smile. This is one story of a mechanic turned friend to many of his coworkers. Doug approached his work and coworkers with a smile that had a sincere love for the people that he shared his career with. 
Doug has a wealth of knowledge and experience that will definitely be missed by Shoreline Metro. He also be missed by his coworkers who with me wish him the best in his next career retirement. Doug, I have a certificate of appreciation. The uh, city of Sheboygan is honored to present Doug Walter the Certificate of Appreciation in recognition of 32 years of dedicated service from August of 82 through January of 2015. Doug, thank you very much. I just want to explain that Doug was a little bit late because he got a call out because a bus broke down and he had to fix it before he came here to the council <laughs> meeting. Okay, next we'll go on to a hearing. Uh, 2.1, there is a hearing this evening to create a Sheboygan Shoreland Zoning Ordinance in conformance with section 6223 and 62. 233 of the Wisconsin statutes. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the closing the hearing signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Uh, this will include only items 3.1 through 3.16. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Jim? I was going to ask the mayor a question. Mayor, you said uh, 3 1 through 3 16? That's correct. And not 17 and 18. Those will correct. follow. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jim, can you check your vote? Uh, yes, I'll. <clears throat> thank you. <clears throat> 15 eyes for 3 2 through 3 16. Motion passes. Next we'll go on, uh, item 3.17 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred pursuant to RO number 173 of 1415 and recommends granting various licenses. Motion, uh, Jim Bourne, Alderman Bourne. Uh, continue and then I have to. Uh, the motion's ready. Okay. Uh, we need a motion first. Move to accept and adapt. Second. We have a motion on the floor. Go ahead, Alderman Bourne. Uh, I have to abstain on one of the Class B liquor licenses. I'm wondering if we could separate that for a separate vote, and that would be, I believe, license number Class B license number 3098 for Pier 17. Okay, license 30, uh, 3098 will be up for uh, a vote first. Uh, is there any discussion on license 3098? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll for passage on license 3098. Julie? Julie? Didn't pop up. I clicked away. Wrong one. Oh, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> 14 eyes and one abstention. Motion passes. Now we're on to the, the remainder of the licenses in uh, 3.16.
Any other discussion? Okay, all those in favor of 3.16? Let's see, we have to have the roll call again, I'm sorry. 3.17. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to 3.18 is an RC by salary and grievances to whom was referred general ordinance number 36 of 1415, amending the municipal code is to add a part-time code enforcement officer position in the city uh, development department and recommends passing the ordinance. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the ordinance upon this passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Um, Alderman Donahue. No, thank you. No. no. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I was surprised to see this again because we already <laughs> voted this down during the budget process. I, I'm going to continue to not support this for three reasons. The first of which is we, we already created a, a part-time clerk's position in the uh, building inspection office, which um, was to free up the building inspectors from having to sit at the desk, which would in theory put them out on the street a little bit more. We haven't even had a chance to fill that position, let alone to see how, how it's actually gonna work in the department. Second of all, the same reason as before, I don't think we need to continue burden our, uh, burdening our citizens. Um, there's a lot of good people out there. There's a lot of very good people that just can't afford to do it. They don't have the time to do it. A lot of certain uh, circumstances. We already know all of the landlords out there that are um, not so good. We need to continue going after them with the staff that we do have. And uh, last but not least, we got to remember we just reassess or revalued this entire city, and a lot of people lost a lot of value in their house. That hurt a lot of people, and I don't think we can c continue to go after them in terms of um, these fines that um, that are present. And I, I got permission from one of my residents to um, share the story. He, he got slapped with a bunch of violations probably six, seven months ago um, during his wife's third bout of cancer. His mom just got put into a nursing home. He works third shift, 12 hour shifts. He didn't have the money nor the time to do it. This man, I've, I've known him for about six years. He keeps his property up, <coughs> um, except for some of the peeling paint that, he, that he, uh, the city went after him for. He even replaced a, uh, a tree in the median, or in the right away after the city cut it down. This guy takes care of his property, loves the community that he's in. He just didn't have the time, like I said, or the, or the energy or the money to do it. And, and I think if we create another position, we're just gonna create more problems for the citizens in the city. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Any other, uh, Alderman Lassard. Thank you. <clears throat> I would like to change and make an amendment to this motion that the job description be changed from being able to lift 60 pounds to being able to lift between 25 and 50 pounds. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second on the amendment. Uh, discussion on the amendment? Alder Alderman yes. Lassard? Um, what I'd like to say is that I do have empathy for the people that are in Sheboygan that are unable to afford their um, fines, but the code enforcement officer, this isn't to increase the inspections, this is to maintain them. And the code enforcement office does give them time to work things out and chat with them. Um, I think I take a bit of offense if we're not asking our departments to do the jobs that they're hired for. We certainly don't want our police department not ticketing people because they can't afford to pay the ticket. So um, I'm hoping and encouraged that everyone will support this. I think it'll be a great thing for the city. I don't think it's going to cause an undue burden. The clerk um, that we're replacing is because the girl that's in there is retired. It isn't to decrease a workload. It's to maintain the same workload and not put a burden on the one full-time employee that we do have, so I don't want anyone to think that by hiring the part-time clerk, it's to relieve the code enforcement office because it, it isn't, it's to maintain the same um, structure that they have had in the past. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Boring. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I voted for this in salary and grievance at past four to one, uh, but my understanding after the salary and grievance meeting that 
this was going to be uh, referred to the finance committee in order to find out where we were gonna come up with the $25,000 to fund the position. Uh, so I'm just wondering uh, procedurally, or, or, or I, as I recall at salary and grievance, is that when we, we voted, we voted uh, for the position at least four to one, but my understanding it was gonna go to finance. So I guess I would f feel more comfortable having it go to finance and the finance committee decide where the, where the $25,000 was going to come from, unless procedurally it's best to authorize the position and then find out where the financing, but I, I would like it to kind of see it the opposite. Where's the money gonna come from? And then if we can afford it, then have an up or down vote on the position. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Hammond. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and I would uh, concur with that. It, um, typically that's, We've done that uh, historically. Also, I think we're still on her amendment, though, from a procedural standpoint. So I think we have to take care of that amendment first and then go on with the rest. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Bellinger? Thank me, you, Mayor. Uh, can uh, we go on the amendment? Yes. OK. Um, Alderman Lassart, can you explain your amendment? I mean, you've got a range from 25 to 50. Is it 25 or 26 pounds or 49? What, if, if you can lift 50, 25 pounds, that would cover it, right? Correct. I mean, so should it be just a single number instead of a range? Well, I had asked um, the Human Resource Department for a recommendation on that because I feel 60 pounds is excessive. So if we could get somewhere between 25 and 50, so I could make that amendment 30, 30 pounds. They have to be able to lift up to 30 pounds. Was the second to agree with that? Second. Okay. So the, motion, the, uh, mo uh, the amendment is still before us with a change in the pounds from the range to 30. Other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the amendment uh, will call roll. We can do it all otherwise. Okay. All those in favor of the amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. So the main motion as amended is before us. Any further discussion? Go ahead, Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, I guess I would make, seeing that it hasn't been referred to finance, I would, I would make a motion that 318 be referred to finance. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to refer the uh, 318 to the Finance Committee as amended. Is there any other discussion? Alderman Carlson. If I recall correctly, this, um, I think this, failed nine to six, 10 to four, something like that. I mean, that's something drastic change between now and when we are going through the budget. I don't really see the point of continuing this, to be honest with you. Thank you. Alderman Lassard. Um, I think what changed was the fact that there was some money that freed up. The general consensus that I got the feel for is that because it, there wasn't funds in the budget, um, there was reason why this particular item didn't make it, but now we have extra funds, or not extra, we have found funds, and um, I believe it can be financed. Thank you. Seeing no other discussion, do we need a roll call? Mm -hmm. The clerk will call the roll for passage. To, to refer to finance. To refer, yes. Eleven eyes, four no's. Motion passes, it will be referred to finance. Next we'll go on to reports of officers. Item 4.1 will lie over. 4.2 is before us. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to pull for uh, 4.2 and 5.2 um, forward, please. Is there a second? Second. It's moved and seconded to pull those two items uh, forward. You want to call a roll? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes under discussion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to uh, ask that we could, uh, I'd like to uh, make, move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you. 
We have a motion to suspend the rules. I want to call the rule. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes under suspension. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, I would um, make a motion to um, accept and adopt in the RO and put the resolution, which is 5 2, upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The motion is before us for discussion. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to give you a reason why we're suspending this um, and, and passing it. Everybody's seen the, uh, presumably has seen the bid quotes um, for this. Um, with the pending winter coming up, the low bidder um, feels that they can get in there next week and start tearing this thing down so that we don't incur um, a lot of expense in heating the building throughout the winter season. Um, so that's why we wanted to suspend the rules to give them the opportunity, or so we can award the bid and give them the opportunity to start tearing it down. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Bourne. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Alderman Hammond, is the uh, additional $90,000 because of additional work that we're asking them to do, or just that the original non-written estimate that we got was low, or a combination of both? Alderman Hammond. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, yes, your assessment was absolutely correct. When we had talked to um, firms earlier, they had given us a, a bid of roughly $250,000. Um, that was, in their minds, a good bid. When we went out for formal bids um, and the tearing out of the basement and all of those others that came back, I think the low bid was three forty-eight dollars um, for that. So, yes, they it came back higher than what we were initially expected. Alderman Hammond, there's also 5.4. Uh, 5.4. Yes, Did you want to make an amendment to take that along with it? So amended. Second. And it's understood that the suspension will apply to that one as well. Is there any objection to that? Seeing none. Is there any uh, further discussion on the motion to take uh, 4, 2, 5, 2, and 5, 4 uh, up for approval? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Items 4.3 through 4.8 will all be referred to various committees. Alderman 5.1 is a resolution authorizing retaining outside legal counsel in the matter of Olivas versus the city of Sheboygan. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Um, all those in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Under suspension. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. The motion is before us. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Seeing no discussion, would the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Uh, Five point three will be uh, will lie over. Five point five will be referred to the Public Works Committee. And we'll go on to reports of committees. Six point one is an RC by law and licensing. To whom is referred RO number one thirty eight of fourteen fifteen, submitting various licenses. Recommends that taxi cab license number zero five six five be denied based on his failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations to the licensed activity, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Um, it looks as though Nathan Creeker is here this evening. Um, we invited him to our meeting on two separate occasions and he did not um, appear either time. 
Um, so I guess I would have to refer this back to the committee so that we would have um, our officer on uh, at our meeting to give us his recommendation. Is there a second to that motion second. to refer back to committee? Second. Okay, we have a, a motion to refer back to committee. Uh, any discussion? Seeing on all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. <coughs> then we'll go on to item 6.2, which is an RC by law and licensing submitting the facts and fines that regarding taxicab license uh, number 5224 held by Michael Gaumer and the committee recommends that the Common Council uphold its decision to deny the renewal of his taxicab driver's license. Alderman Vanderweel. I think I move the RC be accepted and adapted. Second. It's been moved and seconded under discussion. Is Michael Gomer here this evening? He is not. The committee did vote five to zero to deny, or four to zero to deny the license. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. We need to do a vote on that. Hmm? We need to do a vote on that. Okay, we'll call the roll. <clears throat> Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Item seven point one is our own number. 149 of 1415 by the City Planning Commission to whom was referred General Ordinance Number 30 of 1415 relative to creating a Shoreland Zoning Ordinance for the City in conformance with Sections 6223 and 62233 of the Wisconsin Statutes and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept, adapt, um, let's see, no, I'm, I'm sorry, move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Okay. Thank you for that motion and support that's before us for discussion. Anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing no discussion, would the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 7.2 is resolution number 83 of 1415 by Alderman Carlson officially recognizing the North Flats Neighborhood Association. Alderman Carlson. Move to uh, pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion, Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I just wanted to thank a few people for getting this um, neighborhood association together. I think it's our third one, our third official one. Correct. Um, the Van Ordens, the Trusters, uh, Penny Webler, uh, Weber from neighborhood, um, Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride, and uh, Chad Pelishnik from the um, City um, Planning Office. Uh, they put a lot of work into it over the past year or year and a half or so. Uh, we finally had our first bo board meeting um, a couple weeks ago. We have a full board now, so it's kind of excited, exciting to be part of this, and we should see good things coming out of the North Flats. Thank you. Thank you for those comments, and we're approving them just in time for the next Mayor's Leadership Cabinet. That'll be tomorrow night at the library at uh, 630. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item 7.3 is general ordinance number 34 of 1415 by Alderman Donahue, Dassler, Hammond, and Vanderweel, amending the municipal code as to the to extend the expiration date of the initial chief administrator Trader officers appointment appointees term to August 23rd of 2016. Alderman Three man hold. Alderman Donahue. Three man hold, your your honor. Alderman Donahue, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I move that the uh, ordinance be uh, put upon its passage. Second. As motion and second. The item is up for discussion. I'm sorry, who made the second? Ty. Ty. Thank you. Your Honor, on a three man hold, all discussion stops. Mm -hmm. 
I appreciate you raising that point of order. The point of order will be voted on and accepted by the board. Anyone, all those in favor of the uh, point of order raised by Alderman Bellinger, please signify by saying aye. Alderman Boren. What are we voting on? Excuse me, John. <laughs> what are we voting on, Mike? The point of order raised. Um, it was a point of information. Um, <clears throat> as it appears, these three folks have talked about this in advance. Um, I'm asking for an opinion from the city attorney as to whether this might constitute a walking quorum. I have no comment about that, but I can refer to city count of the uh, Municipal Code provision on deferring action by three members. Any action by the council on any matter shall be deferred to the next meeting to be held no sooner than one week following upon the request of any three members of the council. Action so deferred should not be laid over or deferred a second time. Under the council rules, that, uh, that request for deferral should be honored by the chair. There's no point of order. It wasn't a point of order. Okay. It was as such. So then we just go on and skip the item? It's it's uh, deferred till the next council meeting. Can't be held within one week of today. Okay. I guess that's it. Next is uh, attended closed session on item 9.1, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under section 19851E of the Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating possible TA with the Sheboygan Profession Professional Police Officers Supervisory Association. Um, and we won't need to go into closed session on, this, on the latter half of that. So it would just be for the uh, possible tentative agreement with the Sheboygan Professional Police Officers. Police Supervisors Association. Second. Okay. Um, before I take that motion, I was just advised that I skipped over other matters and there is one item in there. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. 8.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2014, December 31, 2015, and June 30, 2016. That'll be for DeLon licensing. I don't have to read that again, do I? No. <laughs> Is there a second? Yes, second. Okay. Under discussion? In the vote. Okay. Closed session. To go into closed session. Okay. Clerk will call the roll. Fifteen eyes. Uh, we'll take a five minute break and reconvene in closed session. Um, item 10.2 will lie over and 10.3 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing entering into a tentative agreement with the Sheboygan Professional Police Officers Supervisory Association for a successor contract. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage um, uh, tentative on them ratifying the con their, their end of the contract as well. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Nice. Motion passes. Um, please plan on a council meeting next Monday. The uh, item 10.2 will be on that agenda as well as the item that was uh, applied by the three man hold. We'll see you at 615 next Monday. Alderman Hammond. Move to adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes.